We're here at the Manhattan Cocktail Classic, one of the world's largest events devoted to the world of cocktails, spirits, and all things boozy. And we're gonna go in search of the five best cocktails of the night. Let's see what we find out. We're here with Colin McConville of Tree Spirits out of Rochester, New York. Tell us a little bit about your spirit and a little bit about the cocktail you made tonight. So, uh, I'm, I'm using uh, tree vodka. It's a vodka made from apples. And the cocktail that I'm making is, uh, we call it the traditional. It's a vodka tonic with a splash of a peach-infused white balsamic vinegar. We go to a lot of farmer's markets and things, and we always ended up being stuck next to these guys at F. Oliver's Vinegar. And so one day we just started experimenting with it and came up with a, a cocktail that I'd say is pretty unique. I mean, I don't think too many people are using balsamic vinegar in their cocktails these days. So we're here with Naren Young of the soon-to-open Bacchanal. Tell us specifically about the lavender Negroni. How did you come up with that concept? Sure, I mean, it's a very springtime Negroni. You know, so lavenders in bloom, you know, there's some lavender bitters, uh, fresh lavender, and we make a, like a tincture, which we uh, spray over the top, and it gives it a beautiful aroma, so it's really nice this time of year. It seems like as the Negroni becomes more popular, there's almost a competition among bartenders to out Negroni each other. It seems there? that way, yeah, there's like chamomile Negronis, chocolate Negronis, chili Negronis, you know, like, and there's so many variations, it's right. such a great cocktail. Right. So we're here with Anthony Caparelli, the brand ambassador for Indrambui. So tell me a little bit about how this cocktail came about and what it's called. So this is called the Railroad Spike, and that's really a play on the Rusty Nail, which is the cocktail Drambui is known for. It's about one ounce of Drambui and then anywhere from four to six or eight ounces of iced coffee. Really, really easy to make. What we did here tonight is we put it in a bottle, so an ounce of Drambui in the bottle, iced coffee to the top, you cap it and you're ready to go. Chill it down, great for barbecues, tailgating, parties. We're here with Melissa Tabs of Tipsy Scoop. Tell me a little bit about it what you're offering here and how you get alcohol into ice cream. Okay, well I can't tell you the secret behind the recipe, but it's 5% alcohol volume. All the ice creams are inspired by different cocktails and they're boozier than a rum raisin. They actually have alcohol in them. So a scoop could get you a little bit buzzed. It's like a light beer. So it is literally a tipsy scoop. It is a tipsy scoop, yes. And tell me a little bit about the one we have here. This is the one with hazelnut? Yeah, so this is a spiked hazelnut coffee ice cream. So it has friends Angelico, which is like a hazelnut liqueur, and then Cafe Borghetti. So we're here with Lacey Hawkins of the Nomad. Punch, it's kind of really back in a big way again, isn't it? Absolutely, it's perfect for entertaining. You bring friends over, you want to cook a meal, maybe you don't want to be stuck in the kitchen making drinks all night, make a punch, top it off with bubbles, you can drink it all night, everyone loves it. Tell me a little bit about the punch you came up with for tonight. Yeah, so I'm using Hanger One Vodka, which is made from Viognier grapes. So to stick in the family, I chose to use Pokey Barolo Quinato and a little bit of Verju. I'm also a beekeeper, so I chose to use some honey syrup in there, a little bit of lime juice, shook it with some cucumber and topped it off with a little bit of bubbles, and it's so delicious. It's like perfect earthiness, a little bit of sweetness to it, effervescence, and that brightness of the cucumber. I think we often think of punch as something very sweet. This has a little bit, because of the quinato, has a nice kind of bitter under yeah. the bun. It's really much more cocktail-y than punchy to me. Yeah, yeah. Way. Yeah, punch isn't exactly that giant Hawaiian guy walking around, you know? Punches can be anything you want. If you ever find a cocktail that you really love, think about how you can make that as a punch, and oftentimes you can make it just as good in a large format and you can make your friends so happy with it.